Thanks so much. And we want to show you some of the pictures and video that we've gotten in throughout the afternoon of that flash flooding. This is video of some flooding in a Crestwood neighborhood. You see a couple of cars there in the background. They're going that one direction, but if you're trying to come through that four way stop where that white van is stopped, you are out of luck because it looks like that road continues to dip down. That water continues to collect. And that's really the story of the afternoon as we saw some of those low lying areas, all that rushing water collected and caused some intense temporary, but some intense street flooding. Certainly all over central Alabama. And of course, we've had crews in these areas throughout the afternoon following this weather. Yeah, I want to get back out to WVTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff in Birmingham. Jeff, how are things looking where you're at right now? Well, we certainly have uh, continuing rain, as Jerry uh, indicates. It's not quite as bad uh, as it was earlier, but the rain has been steady. One of several places here at the uh, I-65 viaduct that got a week's worth of rain in about half an hour. Uh, and Birmingham Fire and Rescue tells us they had as many as 20 plus water related calls throughout the day. Eight of them, we're told, were actual rescues. And a 60 year old man was pulled out of the water on 23rd Street at uh, the behest of some bystanders there who performed CPR. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Uh, do not know any further update on him. Here at the viaduct, a fellow named Peter Palacios had a real close call in his vehicle and quite a story to tell. Let's listen. So water just, when we was coming through, water just started sinking it in. So we tried to back it up and it just sunk in even further. I just took my fiance to, she was pregnant. She was seven months pregnant. So I took her to the ER to get checked out real quick. Okay. She was in shock. Okay. And I wanted to make sure she was okay, but we also had to get our truck out. So my good buddy, Justin, <laughs> got me out Justin here. to the rescue. Justin, just in time in this case, and that's a good lesson to be learned on a day like today. A lot of lessons learned when the high waters come and a reminder that spring is just a little bit ahead. The fiance is gonna be okay. The car needs some work, uh, but you know, that's the better side of that story when human life is protected on days like today. Sorry about that horn. A lot of folks are angry around here. We'll let you go for now. Jeff Elias off live in downtown Birmingham. Thanks so much, Jeff. And uh, another area that we saw some major flooding was right near University Boulevard in St. Vincent. Yeah, so Magdalena Lassan has been checking out that area for us, and she joins us right along University Boulevard with an update. We're at University Boulevard near St. Vincent's Hospital. We want to show there is a pond right now. This is where the water has receded to. Further down the road, we want to show you where there are two call cars that have been stalled. Birmingham police are controlling traffic right now at this point. Those cars are just sitting there waiting to be towed, but we've seen two other cars towed in this area as well. A total of four cars that we have been able to see that were stalled here during or in this flood. Right now, police have opened up the road again for people. You have to treat this intersection as a four way stop. We'll be sure to bring you the latest out here at University Boulevard near uh, St. Vincent's Hospital. For now in Birmingham, I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13. All right, we want to take you now to Homewood, um, in no, another area there, seeing some um, of that flash flooding, also some hail. Yeah, so we, we got in a couple of clips of video. I want to show you this first one again out of Homewood, and this is from Maggie Tucker. She sent this into us earlier this afternoon. Uh, looking down from her balcony, you see some of the hail making its way onto the patio, and then as she kind of zooms in. Unbelievable. I mean, it's starting to collect. I said earlier, it kind of looks like some of that little snow we saw. That's what on I Saturday. thought. Yeah, she had a couple of videos. I saw them on social media. I believe this is the Lakeshore Ridge Apartments. And uh, just incredible to see all of that hail there on her balcony. Right there is that picture that you were mentioning, right? It sort yep. of looks like some snow on the ground. It really does. And just kind of how widespread this was. And this was about an hour or so ago. Bluff Park saw some hail. The, uh, the Hoover area, the Homewood area. Heflin also getting some reports of hail from that community. And now we want to show you some video from Alford Avenue. Here's more hail. You can see it there. Those big pellets just hitting the ground. Definitely dangerous to be outside when this is falling. You certainly, uh, for you, for it to hit you, also your car. The rain just really coming down hard at this point. And you listen to that. You hear that hit in your car, and that's just kind of makes you cringe because mm -hmm. you know that does some pretty significant damage, especially as the size of that hail picks up. I want to show you what this looked like as folks were trying to get off 280. This is the university exit. And what's really interesting is you see a couple of cars there, that black and white car. That water is all the way up to uh, the hood, kind of creeping up past the door handles. But look in the background. You see that line of cars trying to get off 280. I mean, I'm counting at least a dozen or so that just had to hit the brakes, pause, stop for a moment, 
because as they were making that, that turn headed down there, they could see that rising, rising water and you can see what they were in for had they kept going. And that's why we always tell people not to drive into standing water. You just never know how deep it's going to be. All right, let's take you to Heflin now. We have a couple of pictures from there. This is hail. Obviously, somebody's hand. They grabbed a piece of it to show you the size of it that came down in this area. I believe we have another picture from Heflin as well. Uh, this is it actually there out there on the ground. You can see it um, scattered across the grass right there, uh, some inside of the water as well. One of the things that Jerry mentioned over the past couple hours is areas that don't typically flood flooded today because all the water was rushing from higher points. One area was five points south, mm -hmm. and this is a piece of video that you may have seen on social media. We've shown it to you, but you see the water kind of following the street from a higher point all the way down through five points, rushing at times, and this was all that water collecting. I mean, some areas saw about three, three and a half inches of rain within about an hour. That's a lot of water. It has to go somewhere. And so we found it kind of following some of these streets and collecting and eventually receding. But as it was just sitting there, man, it was causing some issues. Yeah, this is uh, just incredible video. I'm sitting here watching it in awe of just the amount of water yeah. that came through so quickly there. All right, we're going to stay on top of this for you right now. Chief Meteorologist Jerry Tracy's in the Weather Center. We're going to check.